Hi, in this package chaser, we will configure a standard IPv4 ACL. So on this scenario, a specific devices on the LAN yeah, are allowed to various services on servers located on the internet. So we cannot see the server, we only know the, their IP addresses. On part 1, we will configure a name, a standard ACL to implement the following policy. Firstly, we will block HTTP and HTTPS from PC1 here to server 1 and server 2. The next uh, statement is block FTTP access from PC2 to server 1 and server 2. And lastly, we will block ICMP access from PC3 to server 1 and server 2. Now, on step 1, we will deny PC1 access to HTTP and HTTPS services on server 1 and server 2. So now I click on router 1. Enter the configuration mode and we create an, a name extended IPv4 ACL by using the command IP accept lead extended and the name deny HTTP HTTPS and firstly we will deny accept using web uh, HTTP service from PC1 to server 1 to do that, we uh, will enter this command deny TCP because HTTP use TCP on the fourth layer. The uh, IP address of uh, PC1 and IP of the server 1 with the uh, port 80. Next, we will block port 443 is the uh, HTTPS port. Next, we will deny uh, accept using HTTP from PC1 to server 2. So, this is the IP address of server 2 and the port 80. And next, 443. To verify the asset list and its statements, we do show asset list. And here we have four statements on the uh, name asset ACL. Deny TCP from PC1 to server 1 with the HTTP, HTTPS from PC1 to server 2 HTTP and deny PC1 accept P, uh, server 2 uh, with uh, HTTPS services so next we will deny PC2 to accept FTP services on server 1 and server 2 so I think it's easy it's your job to complete this step and on step 3, we will deny PC3 to ping server 1 and server 2. So that easy job. So, so I think you could do it yourself. On step 4, permit all other traffic. So we will enter this command. Permit IP from any source to any destination and on step 5 verify asset list configuration before applying to an interface so you should enter the do so asset list to verify and on part 2 we will apply and verify the extended ACL so this is our topology. 
So for the extended ACL, we should apply on the interface as near the source as possible. So we will apply it on the gigabit 0 slash 0 on router 1 uh, with the inbound direction. So we will enter a CTX mode and interface gigabit 0. And then we will enter IP access group deny HTTP HTTPS inbound direction on it. So that is all for the uh, guide for this activity. You will do it yourself and uh, test with the HTTP and HTTPS services and other services from the, la the devices on the LAN to the servers. So good luck and thanks for watching.